All right, we got to just line up this shot perfectly here. This is totally rigged. Come on, murder robot. Let's get out of here. Good news, everyone. TPRR has a brand new update out now. It is part two of the Ruin update. This update includes Bonnie Bull and a ton of brand new characters. We have all the new Ruin animatronics, all the ones they were missing in the first update, and some brand new Old Man Consequences characters as well. Plus, a few other characters got updated. Some human characters, I'm pretty sure Vanessa got updated, and a few others all got updated as well. But in this video, we are going to focus on the new characters, not the updated. Also, there is a brand new achievement to get the official Glamrock Bonnie Morph. To get that, make sure you check out my previous video that I uploaded yesterday so you don't miss it. We're going to start off with the Old Man Consequences ones instead. We have five brand new ones, and then you can see all the other updated ones. Looks like a lot of these got updated recently. But let's start off with Lucid Michael. Michael? More like Mike Skull, because that's what people called that unused image in FNAF 2's files that this version of Michael is based on. Lucid Michael only exists in the mind of Michael Afton and represents his internal emotions and guilt that he feels about tragic events throughout his life. Oh my god. That's a little dark background for this guy. But I mean, just take a look at him. He's, he's terrifying. He's got weird lines going up. I really like the way it's animated. It's kind of like in the Spider-Verse style of animation. That is really sick. The animators did an insane job. And just his, I don't know, he just looks very creepy. I hate that you can see only his top row of teeth. Uh, we have a transform become dreamlike. What is this? Why did we become a little foxy doll? Not even a foxy doll. It's just a normal doll with a foxy head. What is this? Where do I buy one? What are these, uh, are there nails in you? Is this a voodoo doll? I don't know what's going on. But this thing could phase. We could come back. We could sprint. We can, uh, toggle head. Oh my god. Put it back. Put it back. Alright, I mean, that's not much better. We can randomly teleport. I said we can randomly teleport. And then we can transform back. But first, we have some sounds. Why does this thing need to breathe? We have a laugh? A growl? Oh my god, that's not a growl sound. And a honk. Very appropriate. And then, for the animations, it's just the basic ones that I think almost every animatronic has. Let's go ahead and turn back into this thing. It does have some of the same sounds. We can breathe, laugh. Oh, it sounds a lot different. Okay, we have a garble. We have a growl. A vanish. And a scream. Oh my god. It's still going. Whoever uh, recorded that, we should probably check in on them. I don't think they're okay. We have a lucid enrage. Oh my god. This animation is so clean. Very nice. Animators, you get a big thumbs up from me. Good job. And then, of course, we do have a hard mode. Which makes everything uh, just as creepy as he is. We're in his domain. We have a phase. You can still... Oh, you can see his, like... His... I don't know. His footprints, I guess those are. And you can still see the little line particles going around as well. We can toggle those particles. We can hold dreamlike Mike. Oh, it's a little doll. There he is. And, of course, we have a suit up. We can change his face to feral. He's a zombie. His teeth are back. Good. We have Remorseful. Is that what that is? Is that Remorseful? Maybe, maybe I just don't know. And a Corrupted as well. Oh my god. What, what happened here? Looks like the frog from Undertale. Yes. I'm above the law. I ride the go-kart where I please. Who will stop Lucid Michael Foxy Doll? I don't think so. Next up, we have the creation base. What is that? Is that a 3D printer? Biblically, bi biblically, biblically accurate OC maker, the character. Creation base refers to both the paid software and the machine used by the Fazbear Funtime service in order to manufacture and maintain the animatronics before shipping them out. Six different arms? That's a lot of arms. I wish I had six different arms. And here it is, the giant robot. 
Oh, it is a 3D printer. Look, he's making a Freddy right now. Can you actually make one? You can make yourself rideable. You can toggle wielder. That also says welder. So, I mean, you know, that's fine. We can toggle painter. Oh, there it is. It's like a little gas. It's like a little gas coming out. Pick an emote. Error. Oh. Oh, my God. His face. It just says error. We have possessed. Oh, the text is all, all glitchy. What about uh, we have deactivated? Oh. I mean, I guess I probably could have guessed that. We have angry. Oh, you made him mad. We have confused. We have happy. Sad. Shocked. And unsuited. And then we have uh, toggle printed parts. Oh, no, you got to leave them on there. You got to leave the printed parts on there. You got to. So I wonder where the players write it at. Is it on the, the scanner thing? I guess it could kind of look like you 3D printed the players. I don't know. We do have a player scan. And for sounds, we have a lot of stuff. Hello. I didn't know it would still go. I shouldn't have started all of them at once. Please upgrade your creative oh, no, not the error sound. In order to continue running this software. Shutting down eruption. Thank you for using creator base. These sounds are great. I love the... I, what is that? Oh, I think that was the dial-up sound going on. Okay, we have assembly work. And we have a scream. Classic security breach. And then... Oh, wow. It looks like it has all, you know, unique animations for itself. We have the malfunction. We can look left. What is that? Okay, interesting. Uh, we can lean. We can we can retract the arm. We can paint. The animations in this game are getting crazy. Just this one robot alone has so many different specific ones. You could just assemble the Freddy heads. That's what I'm talking about. Oh look, I'm building a moon. Oh, look, I just got to, you know, put that there, put that there. <gasps> You're coming with me. Let's go, Moon. You're mine now. Uh, uh quick, to the fast, to Rockstar Row. Ah, uh, yes, a banana monkey. Very nice. <laughs> Run. We must leave, banana monkey. I have to take you back to my lair. To the raceway. Now you're stranded here. Farewell, banana monkey. Farewell. Shadow Toy Chica. I feel like she was in this already, but I guess not. Just casually skipping not only a whole character, but a whole game's worth of characters because people care a little too much about Toy Chica compared to classic FNAF 1 Chica. That's fair. A stylized, shadowy version of Toy Chica. People do really like Toy Chica compared to normal Chica. I don't know why. Also, after being that giant robot, I feel like Toy Chica's a lot smaller than I thought. But we do have a phase. That's really cool. Whatever this, like, effect is right here looks sick. We can suit up. We can be transparent. We have shiny. Oh, very nice. Like a plastic material looks like. And then this one, which is like clay, I guess. We can spawn food. What is this? What was that sound? Is that this? Is this thing making the sound? Oh, Cupcake's crying. Cupcake, don't cry. And then we can play or scan, toggle the particles going on. And for animations, we have a floating sit. Then for sounds, we have a death quote. Ambiance, an echo, appear, and scream. Oh my god, brutal. That's a guttural scream. And now we have, I think, one, oh no, two more characters. We have Yarg Foxy. Oh, is this the one that's like really valuable in the books? No, we're not actually making this little guy cost 10,000 of our tickets currency for the sake of accuracy. What do you think we are, greedy? Oh, how kind of them. Oh, look at this little guy. He's just hes just a little guy. We have a sprint. We have a punch. We have a suit up. Oh, no. Who tore his arm off? Also, it's an animatronic. It's not just a normal doll. We can toggle the pirate clothes. We can uh, spawn a torn arm. Why did you do that? Why did you rip off your own arm? Oh, my God. If I pick it up, will it put it on? No, I guess not. And then we can transform. Oh my god, he's huge. He's too big. He's too large. And then, of course, he does have the same animations. Uh, you could toggle the pirate clothes on him. And you could turn him back to normal 
uh, plush size. For animations, looks like the basic ones that everyone has. And then we have, oh, I should probably, wait. I should probably get him out of the ground, sorry. And then we have a death quote. I, you never stood a chance. We have attacking line. And a scream. Oh, that's so classic. That brings me back. And then last but not least is Doofus. He has the least relation of FNAF out of any Scott's old games, yet he was still dragged in for what is probably the last troll game in the series. A goofy pink dinosaur thing. You're telling me this isn't a Rainbow Friends character? Look at this little guy. He doesn't fit at all. Compared to all the other characters, he doesn't fit in into the slightest. We can toggle the head. What is that? What is that? This is very off-putting. There's something eerie about this Freddy head. Let's put that away. We have a suit up. We have the adventure gear. Is this not a worm? Dark Doofus? Okay, we made him green. Uh, Dark Doofus with adventure gear. And then unsuited. We have an attack. What did that do? Oh, a little beam, a little ball even. We have a dark projectile. We have an arrow. We have a ball. It just has so many balls to throw. Weird. We have a fire and we have a soul orb. Another ball. All this guy's got is balls. And then for animations, they are the same. We can lean left and right and we could dance. That's what I'm talking about. Good job, doofus. And then for sounds, we have a sweet. Sweet. And <laughs> a damaged. Oh, my God. Oh, that sounds so brutal. What are you tearing off of this guy? Well, time to say goodbye to Doofus, everyone. He's gone forever. Wee. And now let's move on to the brand new Ruin animatronics. I like how Doofus is over there watching us. In the first update, they did add some of the Ruin cast. These four right here. Monty, Chica, Roxanne, and Eclipse. But now they added prototype Glamrock Freddy. We have the mixes thing and the mimic itself. So let's go ahead and start with the prototype Glamrock Freddy. And you know what? We probably should be doing this in the new part of the map. My bad. Here we are, the ruined Bonnie Bowl. You can still bowl here. Just hop over that. You go right to the bowling alley. See, it's all fine. So for ruined Glamrock Freddy, we could toggle the head. Oh my God. That looks so cool, actually. I didn't know what it would look like with the head, but... It mean, it has the big mouth right here. I didn't, I didn't think it needed a new head. We have a punch as well. We can transform into final product. Oh, okay. It just turns them back into normal. I didn't know what that meant at all. That was a really weird way to say that. Then we can come back into the prototype form. We can buy the bike for 10 tickets. What does that do? Where'd it go? Where'd the bike go? Is that something I could do to other players maybe? If there was another player here, maybe I could bite them. I mean, I don't know what that means, but it sounds pretty cool. Also, look at the detail in this model. This is crazy. TPR is a little bit cracked, I'll say. Uh, then for animations, we have a grizzly roar. That is cool. Very sick. And then a glam rock wave. Oh, look, he's friendly after all. He's not evil. Look at that wave. Would something evil wave so nicely like that? And then for sounds, chest roar, which sounds weird out of context. We have a banging and a scream. Oh my god. Oh, that's still the banging sound too. I thought that was all the jump scare mixed into one. Next up is Mixes, the Void, Rabbit, Bonnie, Bunny, Glitch Trap thing, whatever it's supposed to be. We have a phase. We have a player scan, a toggle pupils. Oh my god, that's cool. We have minion spawn. Oh, it's one of the nodes. That's really awesome. Very nice. It does seem to lag me a little bit when I spawn that, though. Uh, we have replace mouth. Oh no, put his mouth back. Put his mouth back. There we go. There's that smile. There's those pearly whites. Uh, we could buy feather fall. Jump while in midair to toggle a slower fall. Interesting. Now, where is it? Well, I guess I probably have to be high up on something to get that, huh? I don't... I feel like I'm not doing it right. Also, this thing is actually making me lag, so let's spawn another one. There we go. Oh, it disappeared. And then we can buy Phobia for 15 tickets. We gotta buy the Phobia. We gotta. I don't know what that did. I'm not gonna lie to you. I, I genuinely don't know, actually. But anyway, for animations, we have some of the basic ones. 
then some specific for mixes. We have the lean left and right and up and the reach. Oh my God, he's like coming right out of the screen. And then for sounds, we have alert. We have, oh my God, that sound brings me back to the DLC. We have firewall blocked. Mixes static. Oh my God, that firewall blocked is so loud. It goes on for a while. We have a scream. And there you go. There is the Mixes robot. I really like his animations as well. I like that these things are constantly going, this like string around his body as well. Very nice, very clean animations and models as always, but it's TPRR, I mean, are you surprised? And then last but not least is the Mimic itself. There is actually something pretty cool you could do with the Mimic. Uh, it's called Chat Connect. I don't know what the Chat Connect does exactly, but I am gonna have to go into another server to test that out. But first, we do have a special selection. We can be all the different mascot suits. So let's go ahead and buy the lion. Look at him. Look at that lion. He's a good boy. Uh, for the lion, we have a punch. We have a sprint. And of course, we can uh, do another special selection, but we can toggle the eyes as well. And then for sounds, the mimic laughter. Ugh. Oh, I don't like that. We have breathing and a scream and then for animations they are the basic ones i wonder if all of these are the same for every suit let's turn into the mascot elephant god he's so cracked and messed up he's wearing like a clown outfit as well so it does look like the punch sprint and the uh toggle eyes are the same for them same is the sound in other animations so let's move right on over to the mascot bird oh my god I didn't see these individual mascot suits when I played the DLC, but I'm pretty sure they're all in there somewhere. That is so awesome. They actually added these. This might be the first FNAF game in Roblox to actually add these. And then of course you could turn into the mix of all those suits. Oh, look, it's like the Mimic's Endo is like in there. I don't know if I've ever realized that before. This is the most detailed model. Is this more detailed than actual ruin? That's crazy. Uh, we can, of course, turn into... Oh, wow. We can actually turn into the glitch trap. The ruin mimic? The Wait, what's this? Oh, this is the old mimic. This is the old mimic that was in TPRR originally. And then you could turn into the ruin mimic or burn trap or glitch trap. Look at this thing. The details on this model is crazy. A punch. What is this? Toggle cloth? Oh my god, that wasn't a punch at all. That's not a punch, you're just decapitating someone. Oh my god. What is the Oh, the cloth is like right here on him. I wonder what that is. What significance does that cloth have to be able to toggle it on and off? Interesting. Oh, it toggles up here on the head as well. I didn't realize. Okay, you gotta have some of that. It adds a little bit of a texture to him. You can toggle the right arm completely as well if you want. And then, oh wow, the sounds are different. Founder greet. It is time. Child greet? Uh, I'm Gregory. You're not Gregory. Child rescued. Me. You oh, it's the lines from the game. Oh, also, uh, spoiler, I guess. Sorry. Uh, oh, wait, instructions. Instruction. I'm Gregory. You're not Gregory. Gregory. We have a laughter as well. Possession hack. And the scream. Surprise pose. Oh my god, no. Not that. Mr. Beast, we have Tiger, Tiger Cradle. What does that do? What does that mean? Uh, then, of course, we do have the other basic ones as well. I don't like it. Why is it spinning? And now let's go ahead and let's go see in an actual server what that other ability was, the chat one. So I guess you could go up to them and use the prompt. And then, I don't know, like a certain like message will pop up. They can send you like, I'm, I'm not sure how it works, honestly. So you guys are gonna have to try the mimics ability in the game yourself. See, this is what happens. That's a little, that's weird. That's interesting. This was an experience. Well, anyway, try the Mimic's ability out for yourself. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Subscribe and all that other good stuff, and I will see you in the next video. Until then, 
Say goodbye, everyone. What a strange collection of characters here. <laughs>